So draw the breath in. Vande Gurunam Charanara Vinde Sandara Sheta Sawatma Sukhava Bode Nisveya Se Jangalika Yamane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abahu Purushakaram Shanka Chakra Sitharinam Sahasthra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim And inhale, reach. Letting the sitting bones drop and the heels press strongly into the earth. Exhale, take the hips way back. As you descend, we'll go all the way down. Then inhale, press the feet into the floor and roll the breath up the front of the spine. Exhale, just fold down again, using the arms to draw yourself gently deeper into the fold. Then inhale with the heavy tail coming up, using the strength of your legs to ascend, and then exhale back to where we started. Again, inhale, reach. With deepening breath, exhale. Slowly dive down, inhale, uncoil. And exhale, fold down again. Inhale, rise up. Reach, spreading the back of the body. Exhale. And back to where we started. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, go just halfway down and pause. Take an extra inhale, reaching the fingers forward and the sitting bones back, making your waist and spine even longer. And then drop the hands. Exhale, go down. Inhale, uncoil. Exhale, this time step back to a high plank position. Press the spine up between the shoulder blades. Feel the lower belly engage. Lift the chin a little. And then just bending the elbows to come down to Chaturanga. And then take the knees down to the earth. Shift the weight back till you can drop your tail. Roll the breath up the front of the spine. Shoulders up by the ears, then back. And then pressing the hands down to get lift from the center of the heart through the crown. Then we'll reach back through the left leg, looking over the right shoulder. Reach back through the right leg, looking over the left shoulder, then back through center, lifting from the heart through the crown. One more time, drawing the chin back slightly. Pubic bone lifted, belly lifted, tailbone dropped. And then exhale back to downward facing with deep rhythmic breath. Feeling the breath draw from the arches of the feet up the inseams of the legs through the pelvic floor. From there up the psoas lines toward the heart. All with each, in, each inhale. And then as you exhale, let the breath slide from the heart down the arms and through the skull and then through the hands and fingertips back into the earth. so that every breath rolls through you like a wave. Clearing away the sediment of thought. Making space for the next breath to roll through. Exhale to empty, bend the knees, come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rising up. Reach and exhale. Back to where we started. Inhale, getting long again. 
Keep the pelvis in an upright position. Exhale, dive down, opening the soft palate as you descend. Inhale, uncoil. Getting length and exhale back to chaturanga, knees down or not, but roll the breath up the front of the spine just as before, lifting through the crown, and then exhale back, downward facing. Keeping the fingers and toes spread wide. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you and lifting it up through the body on the ascending current of each breath. And then releasing all the excess back down into the earth. Every time you exhale. One more. All the way to empty, then come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And reach and exhale. Back to where we started. Again, inhale. Reach, exhale, keep the length. As you descend, inhale, uncoil. Getting long, exhale back. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. Lifting through the crown, then exhale back. To downward facing. And feeling the breath move with those visualized images and allow the body to move naturally around them. So the body is a supple conduit for the breath. An organ of breathing, of giving and receiving graciously, openly, without resistance, all the way to empty, then forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. Reach, spreading the back of the body. Exhale. And back to where we started. Again, inhale. Getting long. Exhale. Dive down. Inhale. Uncoil. And exhale slowly back. Pause then. Inhale. Rolling up and exhale back. Downward facing. Holding enough tone in the vocal cords so that you really feel the breath resonate through the inside. And eventually through every cell in the body. Feeling the nerves somehow soothed, but also quickened by the breath. So that you settle into a feeling of being more awake. And exhale. All the way out, come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, come down. Inhale, rising up. Spreading the back of the diaphragm as you reach and exhale. Samasitihi once more like this. Inhale. 
Again, spreading the back of the body broadly. Exhale. Slowly descend. Inhale, uncoil. From the base to the crown and exhale back. To Chaturanga. Inhale. Through upward facing and exhale back. Downward facing. Just taking this one in silence. One more. And empty of breath, come forward to your feet then. Inhale. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rising up. Reach, exhale. Back to where we started. Take a free breath in. And then Surya Namaskar, B. Exhale, touch the fingertips to the earth. Then inhale, roll the breath up the front of the spine from the pelvis to the crown. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back to Chaturanga. Then inhale, waving up. Exhale, back through downward facing. Step the right foot forward, then inhale. Reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, wave up. And exhale back through downward facing. Step the left foot forward, finishing the exhale there. Then inhale, reach with a long waist. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Ah, the mukha. Tracing the breath. Up both psoas lines with a gentle lift under the belly. Every time you inhale and feeling the pelvic floor naturally drawn up toward the roots of the navel. See if you can find a sensation of holding it lifted without squeezing so that the center of the body seems to hollow out. Opening to a richness of experience. And then bend the knees and come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply. Inhale to Ukatasana. And exhale. Samastitihi, take a free breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, touch. Inhale, roll the breath up the front of the spine. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, uncoil. Exhale back. To Chaturanga, inhale, wave up. Exhale, through downward facing, right foot forward. Then inhale, you might lift the front heel a little bit on the way up. Bring it back down as the hands come together. Then exhale. To a low plank, inhale, waving up again, and exhale back through downward facing, left foot forward, then inhale, reach, and exhale, to Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale, Adha Mukha.
Exhaling, almost empty, come forward. Then once you're empty, feet landed, inhale, lift the head. Exhale, fold down, bend the knees deeply at the bottom of that exhale, then inhale, Ukatasana. And exhale. Samastitihi, take a free breath in. And exhale, bend the knees, touch. Inhale, roll the breath up the front of the spine. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. Exhale, go back to Chaturanga. Inhale, wave up. Exhale through downward facing, step the right foot forward, then inhale, reach, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, wave up, and exhale back through downward facing, step the left foot forward, then inhale, reach, and exhale. To Chaturanga, inhale, wave up, and exhale back, downward facing. With no pushing or pulling on the breath, I'm just making room for the breath to Expand into a natural fullness and to empty back out just as easily. And feeling ever more deeply into the sensation of the breath through every cell of the body and all the way to empty, come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. Man, the knees deeply inhale. And exhale. Back to where we started. Take a free breath in. And exhale, touch. Inhale, roll the breath up the front of the spine. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. Exhale, back to Chaturanga. Inhale, wave up. Exhale, back through downward facing. Step the right foot forward. Keep the back heel grounded as you inhale. Reach and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. Exhale, back through downward facing. Step the left foot forward, then inhale. Reach and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back. Ah, Mukha. Letting the body ride on the wave of the breath. Letting the breath be without edges, but smooth and circular. One more. Exhale to empty, then come forward to your feet. Inhale, get long. And exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply. Inhale. Rising up. And exhale. Back to where we started once more. Take a free breath in. And exhale, touch. Inhale, rolling up. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. 
and exhale back. Inhale, wave up. And exhale through downward facing, step the right foot forward, then inhale. And exhale. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Step the left foot forward, then inhale. Exhale. To Chaturanga, inhale. Waving up and exhale back. Releasing all of the mental formations back into the emptiness of the exhale. Watching them burn brightly as they dissolve. And then feeling into the spaciousness beneath the imagery. Exhale out, bend the knees, come forward to your feet and inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply, inhale, rising up. And exhale. Samastitihi Parangustasana. Take the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, drop the tail, make the waist long. Exhale, narrow the front of the pelvis as you come halfway down and catch. Keep the gaze up as you inhale. And exhale. Fold down as you inhale. Lift the arches, lift the knees, lift the sitting bones. Even the pubic bone reaching up toward the coccyx. And then exhale, let the crown fall closer to the earth. Repeating that same vinyasa pattern with each breath. And perhaps using the arms to gently draw the spine longer with each out breath one more. And then inhale, uncoil. Exhale, hands underneath the feet. Pada Astasana, inhale, get long. Exhale, reach the elbows out to the sides. As you come down, you can allow the scapula to fall toward the earth. But keep reaching the elbows out. So that you stay broad in the shoulders, nonetheless. And keep that upward lifting through the lower body and the downward falling through the upper. One more. And inhale, uncoil. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, drop the tail so the belly goes hollow and rise up slowly. And then exhale. Samasitihi. Inhale, step to the right and reach. Squeeze the heels toward each other to feel the pulse come from the pelvic floor up through the crown. And then exhale, coming down, Trikonasana. Pressing the feet away from each other so that the pelvis feels buoyant. As if it's just floating above the tops of the femur bones. And then spiraling from the base all the way to the crown. Reaching from the heart. Outward in every direction. Especially as you exhale. the way to empty then inhale rising up squeeze the heels together again feel the lift through the center 
Keep that feeling of lift as you exhale down into the form. Drawing the shoulders way back away from the crown, making the spine long, and letting the whole rib cage expand with each inhale. Feeling the reciprocal actions of lifting and also reaching down, fusing them together artfully. Then inhale, coming up. And square the hips to the back of the mat. Exhale, parivrita, trikonasana, coming down. Drawing the right hip back in toward the midline as you press the four corners of the feet into the earth. And stay with a strong Udiana engagement right under the belly, even here. So that each inhale seems to roll up the front of the spine. One more. Exhale. And empty inhale coming up. Reach the left arm high, followed by the right. Staying with that sense of length, even as you descend. Allow the right hip to drop so the pelvis turns naturally with the twist. And then spiraling back through the right leg to press the outer edge of the heel back into the earth. And finding gentle undulations through the spine. One more. Exhale to empty, inhale, come up, back through that Vesuvian position. And exhale. Samastitihi, again, stepping to the right for Parsvokanasana, inhale, lift. And exhale, come down into the form. Pressing strongly off the front foot to ground the back foot down and then reaching from the back foot forward into the fingertips. Keeping the back of the pelvis broad. With the sitting bones drawing toward one another. One more. Then inhale, coming up. Lift and exhale, come down. Second side. Breathing in long fluid th strokes through the right psoas line. Inhaling the breath spiral down and then back up. With each round. One more. And inhale, coming up. Parivrita, Parsvokanasana, reach. And exhale, come down. And the trick. 
is to stay strongly engaged with the support at the center of the pelvis by keeping the tailbone dropped and a strong Uddiyana lift the whole time. Even as you let the whole rib cage expand, no unnecessary constriction or tightness across the chest. One more reaching and exhale. Look down for balance. Inhale, come up. And exhale, come down. Second side. Feeling the spiral through the left side of the spine. One more. And exhale. To empty, inhale, come up. Reach and exhale. Back to where we started. Prasari to Padatanasana. Step to the right. Hands on the hips. Inhale, get long. Exhale, narrow the front of the pelvis as you go down. Then hands to the earth. Inhale, keep the head up. And then exhale, walk the hands back and drop the head down. And if possible, pressing the head into the earth and using that gesture to bring the shoulder girdle further under the pelvis. Or just allowing the head to hang and feeling the length of the spine as gravity gently draws the weight of the body down. And balancing those actions with a very steady lifting through the arches of the feet and all the way up into the pelvis itself. And then inhale, uncoil. Gazing forward and up, exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise up with the heavy tail, strong legs, and exhale. Inhale, reach from the center of the heart out to the fingertips. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, get long, dropping the tail. Exhale, dive the pubic bone back and go all the way down in one long. Exhale with the hands remaining where they are. Long, steady breath. One more. Then inhale, rising up. And exhale. Inhale, reach from the heart out through the fingertips. With a heavy tail, exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And then exhale, up and over, and all the way down. Broadening across the collar. And gently rotating the shoulders in either direction to give yourself a sense of ease. Reaching the hands not only down, but a little back. And exhale all the way to empty. And then inhale, rising up. Hands to the hips and exhale. Keep the hands here as you inhale, get long. Exhale, fold halfway down. Keep the gaze up as you reach for your toes. Inhale there. Without the gaze moving, then exhale, drop the head down.
Keep the shoulders lifted, the elbows reaching out away from each other. And exhale all the way to empty, and then inhale, uncoil. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Samastitihi Parsvottanasana. Turn 180 degrees, take the hands in prayer position behind you, and then exhale, fold down, lay the spine right over the line of the right leg as you descend. Keep the arch of the right foot lifted brightly, but reach down through the line of that leg to press the pelvis back. Even as you lift from the inseam of the leg through the pelvic floor. And press the back foot firmly into the earth as well. With a little external rotation in that hip so the arch of that foot also stays lifted. And then inhale, rising up. Turn to face the front, then exhale. Coming down, keeping the left psoas line open. Even as you turn into the depth of the fold. Reach the sitting bones way back behind you. And let the spine undulate gently with the breath. One more. Inhale, rising up. Turn to the right, let the hands drop. And exhale. Samasitihi, catch the right big toe with first two fingers and thumb. For Utita Asta Parangustasana, inhale. Get length. And exhale, fold if you're folding. Keep pressing the left foot down. Rolling the left shoulder back. Standing as tall as you can be. One more. Inhale. Even taller, exhale, take the leg to the side, drop the right sitting bone underneath you, chin up, gazing to the left. Stay broad in the back body, even as you lift the heart and roll the shoulders back. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Here too, spreading the back of the body. Spreading between the shoulder blades and the occipital base of the skull. The back of the diaphragm and sacrum. Lift a little higher and exhale, bring the right foot down, shift the weight into that foot, catch the left and inhale, get long. Extending, then exhale, fold if you're folding. One more. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, keep the chin up, looking to the right. Long waist. Steady breath, steady gaze. 
One more. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Stay hollow under the belly. Sitting bones dropped. Reaching down into the right foot, pressing it firmly into the earth. Lift a little higher and exhale, bring the left foot slowly down, shift the weight right into that foot and take Lotus on the right side, catching if you can. Inhale, stand tall. Ardha Baddha Padma Uttanasana. Exhale, fold if you're folding. And let the crown drop toward the earth. Gentle undulations in the spine and then inhale. Straighten the left arm, exhale. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. And release and take lotus on the left side, inhale. Take your time, but when you're ready, fold. If you're folding. Straighten the right arm, exhale there. Inhale, come up. And exhale. Samasitihi. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. Exhale, go back. To Chaturanga, inhale, wave up. Exhale back to downward facing. Inhale, get length. Exhale, jump forward to a squatting position. Inhale, Ukutasana. Dropping the pelvis down with a heavy tail or with the pubic bone drawn back. And then reaching from the back of the diaphragm up into the fingertips. One more. And exhale. Take the hands down. Inhale, lift. Talasana. And exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Step the right foot forward, then inhale. Virabhadrasana A. And get the sitting bones underneath you. And keep the belly lifted from beneath. Reaching up as you inhale and dropping a little deeper into the lunge as you exhale. One more. And then switch. Fluid breath. 
keeping the shoulder blades lifted way up so they cradle the back of the neck one more and then open to the side Virabhadrasana B Dropping deeper and deeper down. With each breath. One more. And then switch. Second side. lifting the support of the earth from the pelvis and the arches of the feet upward with each inhale. And then rooting down further into it with each exhale. One more. Exhale, wind the hands down. You might step the right foot back halfway and lift and then get a little flexion in the low spine as you bring your right knee in and exhale to chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale back Adha mukha. inhale get length exhale to dandasana the fingertips just floating behind the pelvis you have four actions in the legs. Externally rotating from deep in the hips, spiraling down into the roots of the big toes, pressing the heels gently into the earth to engage the backs of the legs and then drawing the knees back toward the front of the pelvis. You feel that strong Uriana lift all the way up through the crown and then reach forward, catch the toes, inhale, drop the tail, roll the breath up the front of the spine, lift the gaze, keep the gaze up as you exhale and descend any amount. Inhale, get length again, same gentle undulation. Exhale, go deeper into the form. And continue with that same vinyasa pattern with each breath. One more. Inhale, uncoil. Take B or C position. Inhale, get length. And exhale, fold. Tracing each inhale up the psoas lines toward the base of the heart. The base of the white lotus that seems to open up with each inhale. And letting its rays radiate outward and forward and down. Back into the feet. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, release. And then you might just cross one foot over the other, roll over your feet, hands down, then squeeze the knees into the chest. Maybe you can even lift your feet off the floor and exhale back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha. Take a free breath in. Purvottanasana, exhale. Coming through, hands back, inhale up. Pressing your center of gravity forward by pushing your hands back so the toes ground into the earth. Keep the backside toned while lifting the heart also. One more. 
and exhale, coming down. Reverse the cross of the feet. Again, you might just roll over the feet, hands down, squeeze the knees into the chest. Maybe you can lift and exhale, chaturanga. Then inhale, urdhva mukha, exhale back. Ah, the mukha, inhale, get length. Ardhabhada Padma Pastimottanasana. Exhale, come through. <laughs> Left leg straight. Right leg in half lotus catch. Inhale, look up. And when you're ready, exhale. Turning into the line of the left leg. And you might keep that left elbow lifted and reaching outward as you exhale to help draw the spine a little longer, drawing the crown of the head closer and closer to the left foot. But not too tightly. You allow the spine to undulate naturally with the breath. One more. Inhale. Uncoil, lift the gaze, exhale, release, hands down, vinyasa, just as before, or lift all the way up and back, into lolasana, and exhale, chatwari, inhale, urdhva mukha, and exhale back, adha mukha, inhale, get length, exhale, come through, and then take the bind, inhale, Lift the gaze, exhale, coming down, second side. Drawing back gently on the lateral edge of the foot and pressing the thumb into the knuckle of the big toe, helping the pubic bone dive back. Right at the top of the inhale and as you begin the descent, deeper into the form, inhale, uncoil, lift the gaze, exhale, release, hands down, inhale, lift up, and exhale back, chaturanga, inhale, urdhva mukha, and exhale, adha mukha, inhale, get length, exhale, tiriyang mukha, ekapada, pastimottanasana, right leg folded back, inhale, catch, and exhale, fold down. Here too, turning into the line of the left leg. You might draw back a little bit on the left sitting bone as you inhale to find that turn. As you exhale and descend, reach forward through the line of the left leg and perhaps drawing gently back on the right sitting bone. So there's a gentle sway in the pelvis as the body reorganizes itself naturally around the breath. One more. And inhale, uncoil. Exhale, release hands down. Kicking off the right foot, you can lift up easily into the lalasana position. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, second side. Catch, inhale. And exhale, fold down. Letting the spine undulate gently. Oh, 
with the internal movement of the breath. Inhale, lift. Take the gaze up and exhale, release. Hands down, then kicking off that left foot to Lalasana. And exhale back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back, Radha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, Janushirsasana A. Bend the right knee. Left leg straight, catch, inhale, look up. And exhale, turning into the line of the left leg, maybe allowing that right femur bone to spiral internally. And then as you exhale, let it roll back out. Inhale, lift and turn, exhale. Lengthen and descend. Let the whole posture be an expression, a dynamic expression of the internal breath. Inhale, lift the gaze. And exhale, release. Hands down, inhale, lift. Lalasana. And exhale, Chatwari. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back, Radha Mukha. Inhale, get long. Exhale, second side. Catch, inhale. And exhale, descend. One more. Inhale, uncoil. With the gaze, exhale, release. Hands down, inhale, lift up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, back. Downward facing, inhale, get length. Janusirsasana, B, exhale, come through. Bring that right foot down and sit right on top. Inhale, catch. And exhale, turn and fold. Same basic internal pattern as before. There's just a slight variation in the form. And still feeling the breath waving upward, rolling down the back of the body into the foot to complete the circuit and let it start all over again. One more. Inhale, uncoil, and exhale, release. And then maybe you can kick off that right foot to lift up into Lalasana, and exhale back, Chadwari. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. Exhale, come through sitting on your left foot. And catch, inhale, exhale, fold.
Keeping that right psoas line open so the breath can roll through. One more. And inhale, uncoil. And exhale. Release the forearm, hands down. Inhale, kick up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, back, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. Exhale, Janushasana C. Turning the right foot down, hands back, holding here perhaps, or catching if the sitting bones can drop. Inhale, look up. When you're ready, exhale, fold if you're folding. And try to position the heel, if it's lifted all the way up over your toes, right into the navel. So that it draws your attention into the root. And to the seed of your visceral connection with other beings. One more. Inhale, uncoil. Lift the gaze, exhale. Release, cross one foot over the other, then inhale. Lifting and exhale back. Chatwari. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. And exhale, coming through. Second side. Inhale long and exhale. Fold down when you're ready. Take your time. Be gentle with your knees. And let the spine undulate. Whatever form you're in, and whatever supposed limitation you might be encountering, see if you can breathe into it graciously, openly. And feel the natural abundance of the breath. And inhale, uncoil. Exhale, release. Hands down, inhale, lift up. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. Marichyasana A, exhale. Come through left leg straight, bend the right knee, catching the bind. Inhale, get long. And exhale when you're ready, descend. Long, fluid breath. I'm not holding the form too tightly. Don't press yourself down, but just. Reach the pubic bone back toward the coccyx and then let gravity pull you down however much it will. And then allow the body to rise and fall with the breath. Just as before. One more. Inhale, drop the tail, lift the gaze. And exhale, release. Taking back however you like. Maybe playing with this arm balance if you want to. Straighten the arms, left foot back. Then come down like Chaturanga. Reach the left foot back. And finally to Chatwari. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. 
Exhale back. Adho Mukha, inhale, get length. Exhale, come through. Second side, right leg straight. Then the left knee, catch the bind on that side. Inhale, get length. And when you're ready, exhale, descend. Reaching the crown forward toward the foot. Not pressing the head down. Just getting length and letting the heart settle. Over the line of the right leg. One more. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, release. I'm taking the vinyasa as before. Inhale as you reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, ordva mukha. Exhale, adha mukha. Inhale, get length. Exhale, marichasana B. Left leg in half lotus, binding on the right side. Or you can fold that left leg back for Marichyasana E. Exhale, descend. Keep the shoulders lifted. Stay broad across the heart. And inhale, uncoil, exhale, release, hands down, inhale, lift, and exhale, chaturanga, inhale, ordva mukha, exhale, back, adha mukha, inhale, get length, exhale, come through, Right leg in half lotus, catch on the left side. Inhale, look up, then exhale, fold down. Keep reaching the elbows out away from each other. So there's no collapsing in the front of the body. And it stays broad, just like the back. So that you're balancing those two energies. One more. And inhale. Lift the gaze and exhale. Release. Cross the feet, hands down, lift. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha. Inhale, get long. Exhale and come through Marichyasana C. Minding on the right side, turning. Getting lift with each inhale. And then twisting deeper into that space with each exhale. Feeling the breath. Spiraling up the right side of the body and then opening out. One more. Inhale, look forward and release. And exhale, take the hands down. Inhale, lift up. 
and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, word vamukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length, and exhale. Second side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, deepen. This time, feeling the spiral up the left side of the heart. Opening out from there as you deepen into the twist. One more. Inhale, look forward and release. And exhale, hands down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale into Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, Marityasana D. Reaching the elbows out away from each other to give you room to breathe. So you're finding space inside the bind. Not so much squeezing in, but reaching back out so that there's an expansion from the center. With each breath, one more. Inhale, look forward and release. And exhale, hands down, inhale, lift up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, second side. Feeling that spiral with each inhale coming up the left side of the spine. Drawing the sitting bones down underneath you, but pressing the left knee away from the midline so that the pelvis is allowed to turn a little bit with the twist. So you stay broad across the sacrum, even as you lift from under the belly, and then inhale. Look forward and release, and exhale, hands down. Inhale, lift up, and exhale back, Jadaranga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Adha Mukha, take a free breath in. Navasana. Gazing toward the toes. Easy, steady breath. One more. And then hands down, inhale, lift back or forward and up. And exhale, number two. Good. 
Keep the heart lifted and shoulders back. And exhale, reverse the cross, hands down, inhale, lift. And exhale back for number three. Exhale to empty, hands down, inhale, lift, and back for number four. down inhale lift up and exhale back last one one more exhale hands down inhale lift and exhale Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. Exhale, Bhuja Pidasana, jump the feet around the arms, knees above the elbows, inhale there. You could stay here, just holding the balance, or take the elbows back, Squeeze the knees into the shoulders so the elbows come toward each other as you descend. Come to the crown of the head or just hovering the chin right above the earth. Then inhale, coming up. Maybe straighten to Tidibhasana. Exhale back, Bakasana, inhale, lift higher, and exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale to Kormasana, jumping the feet around the hands, or maybe to a low Tidibhasana and lower down. Take the hands back. Be gentle on the low back, but inhale, push the shoulders back into the knees and get lift, rolling the collarbones back, lift the gaze. Exhale, reach forward through the heels to come down any amount. And repeating that pattern. as many times as it's helpful. One more. And release. And come up a little bit. Lean to one side, bring the opposite foot toward the midline, and then lean to the other side and do the same. And see if you can reach behind you and catch the bind. Take one foot, perhaps crossing over the other, overhead, and then drop the forehead down. Letting the knees fall toward the earth, reaching the elbows out a little. So that you have some ease even in the bind. A couple more breaths here.
and release. Take the hands down. Maybe you can lift into Tibasana. Exhale, Bakasana. Inhale, lift, Lalasana. Exhale, Jatwari. Inhale. To Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha. Inhale, get long. Exhale, Garbha Pindasana. Coming through. Take Lotus if you have it. And you could just hold the knees. Or see if you can thread the arms through. Right above the ankles. Starting with, if you started with the right leg, start with the right arm. And you push at about a 45 degree angle as you take the hands through. So you kind of reach toward the opposite corner of the mat with each hand as you bring them through. And then perhaps you can bring the wrists together and cup the chin. Gazing down gently toward the earth, holding steady. One more. And then exhaling, drop the hands down into the hands and then Rocking nine times. Rock the full length of the spine. If possible, go all the way back and lightly touch the back of the head to the earth. Exhaling back, inhaling up. And coming up on the last one into Kukutasana. Knees lifted above the elbows. Around the spine. So you're pushing the spine up between the shoulder blades to lift your knees high. And then coming down. You might roll over the knees, turn the hands out, bring the elbows to either side of the belly, and then lift the knees, and then push back, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, Baddha Konasana. So we'll start with the roots of the big toes touching, holding the big toes with first two fingers and thumb and just sitting tall with the sitting bones dropping, gently pressing the coccyx toward the heels and also pulling the heels back toward the coccyx and find an active external rotation in each hip by imagining that you're squeezing your sitting bones toward each other and then letting the knees descend toward the earth. Breathing deeply all the way down, all the way deep into the roots of the navel. And feeling all the way into the pelvic floor. One more. And then open the feet up like a book. So you're holding the outsides of the feet now. And then exhale, start to come forward. As you inhale, get length. You might lift the sitting bones. Exhale, descend any amount. And keep repeating that pattern with each breath. And if flexibility allows, you pull your heels right up into your navel, toes into the heart. And then settle into that form.
One more full breath here. Inhale, coming up. And then scoot the feet just a little bit out when no one's looking. And then exhale, curl down. Place the crown of the head right in the arches of the feet. Keep the tailbone dropped. And the coccyx even reaching toward the heels. So it's curling underneath you. And breathe as deeply as you can here. One more. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. Bring the knees together, hands down, and inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, back. Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. Exhale, come through for Upavista Konasana. Take the feet just a little wider than the mat. Catch the outsides of the feet. Inhale, roll the collarbones back, lift the heart. Now keep the chin up as you exhale and come down. Lead with the heart. Don't put the chin on the floor, but maybe if you can go deep enough, you can put the heart right down. And keep the gaze gently forward across the floor with the shoulders rolled back. Or if it helps to find that action, you might even take Brumadia Drishti here to help emphasize how the, the prana rolling down the back of the body, the sitting bones dropping. And the shoulders drawing back away from the ears. And then inhale, lift, but still holding. And exhale, release, roll back onto the tail if that's comfortable enough and kick the feet up into the hands and then lift the gaze any amount. Take the head back and look straight up into the sky. Pull on your feet a little to lift the heart forward, drawing the shoulders back. One more. And exhale. You can take the hands down, maybe lifting up and back from here. Any way you like. And inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. Exhale, come through. Do a Dandasana position. Inhale, sit tall. And then exhale, lie back for Supta Konasana. Lift the feet above the belly. Inhaling, exhale. Take the feet wide. Catch the big toes with first two fingers and thumb. And breathe deeply here. Keep the waist long, the head reaching toward the crown, reaching toward the back of the mat. The shoulders draw, the shoulder blades drawing in the opposite direction. One more. Empty of breath, rock up. Catch yourself with an in-breath, pull back on the toes, so press forward through the heels, keep the head back, come down softly, maybe touch the heart to the floor. Inhale, lift, 
and exhale, release. Take the hands down. You can go back any way you can. For those of you who are working on this, remember that the trick is to slide your weight way forward. To so go way forward like this, you're kind of you kind of slide your thighs up your arms, and you lift the feet at the same time. Just keep pushing your hands down into the earth, and then exhale. Inhale. Or you don't worry about it at all. You just cross your feet and take whichever vinyasa seems most natural. Inhale, get length. Exhale. Come to Dandasana. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, lie back. Supta Asta Parangrishtasana. Kicking up. Take the right big toe with first two fingers and thumb with the inhale. Exhale, fold. Extending long through both legs all the way down into the roots of the big toes. And not just drawing the leg down, but sitting up into it strongly. And turning the spine into the line of the right leg. One more. And then inhale. Open it back up. Exhale, take the leg to the side and turn, gazing over the left shoulder. Press the right sitting bone forward and up so you stay long in the waist on both sides. Inhale back through center. Exhale, fold in, inhale, head down, opening up, exhale, release, inhale, catch the second side, exhale, turn and fold, extending into the roots of both big toes. up. Exhale, take the leg to the side, looking over the right shoulder. And now back through center. Exhale, fold, inhale, open it up, and exhale, release, and then Chakrasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Adha Mukha, then coming forward as needed. <laughs> inhale, get long. Ubaya Padangrustasana, come through to Dandasana position, inhale, sit tall, exhale, lie back. Initiate the lift of the feet, inhale as the feet come over the belly, exhale, and bring the toes down, catch with first two fingers and thumb, then rock up. Catch yourself with an inhale again, head back, gazing straight up. And exhale, take the hands down, inhale, lift up, and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. Urdhva Paschimottanasana. Exhale, come through. To Dandasana. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, lie back. 
Initiate the lift of the feet. Inhale as the feet come over the belly. Exhale, take the feet overhead. Catch the heels this time. Empty of breath, rock up. Inhale to stop. Opening up and then exhale. Wrap the elbows, if you can, to the backs of the calves as you fold in. One more. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, hands down. Inhale, lift. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. Exhale, Setu Bhadnasana. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, lie back. And bend the knees just a little bit as you bring the outer edges of the feet down to touch the earth and the heels together. And then arch your back and your knees will naturally bend even more, but you don't want them to bend too much because you want to be able to straighten them. So you can either stay here or lift the pelvis up. Maybe you put the pelvis right into the palms of the hands. See if you can straighten your legs completely. Or you might reach the arms overhead, rolling the shoulders externally, or even crossing the arms over the heart. Deep breath. And when you're ready to come down, take the elbows to the floor, bend the knees, bring the hips down, then lift the head and lay it back to the earth. Inhale, get length, exhale, Chakrasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. And coming forward. Inhale, get length. Exhale, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Coming through, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, lie back, bend the knees, take the hands by the shoulders, and inhale, come up. Really pressing the arms into the floor after all those vinyasa. Give me some tightness in the front of the body, across the front of the chest and across the front of the hips. So you just breathe into that. Exhale, come down. We're only as long as necessary. And when you're ready, back up. Number two. But don't try to rush through it. Breathe nice and slow. And cultivate steadiness here. Exhale down, inhale. When you're ready, back up for number three. Finding ease. And if you're ready to stand out of this one, go ahead. Otherwise, come down and then prepare for another three Urdhvadanyarasanas. And if you stood up, then we'll drop back five times. Or even if you don't fully drop back, but you're practicing in a certain way, feel free to stand up and do that.
And then when you're finished, if you're dropping back, you could hang down here. If you're still back bending, go ahead. If you're finished, just let your spine hang and the crown drop toward the earth. And if you're on your back and you're finished, then you can come into Apanasana. So you can draw your knees towards your chest just a little bit wider than the rib cage and flex the ankles also. Keep the sacrum flat on the floor. You don't have to press it down. You're just not rolling the pelvis up off the floor. Just letting it rest, letting it be a mostly passive form. So you might see if you can connect to a sense of hollowing out in the belly. And then bring the feet over the, over the hips and bring the heels to the floor to sit up. And we'll fold down into Paschimottanasana. Whenever you're ready, nice and gentle. Of letting the breath guide you deeply. Into the fold. Exhale, lie back into Tadagi Mudra. So hands at the sides and then draw the shoulder blades down. The palms are flat on the floor. Draw the shoulder blades down toward the hips and in toward each other. And then flex the ankles and stiffen the back of the body, making it long, making the distance from the crown to the heels as long as you comfortably can. And then feel the belly hollowing out from the pelvic floor to the undersurface of the diaphragm. And breathe slowly into the form. Feeling all the humming of the body. cradled in an open, spacious quality of awareness. Feeling how the awareness envelops the body and is not at all contained by it. Allow the body to soften into that experience. And empty of breath, initiate the lift of the feet above the pelvis and you might stay there or if it's comfortable enough you can kick the pelvis up into the hands or even kick higher bringing the hands higher up the back and coming into full sarvangasana
exhale, bring the feet overhead. If it feels okay on the back of the neck and the upper spine, bring the heels overhead into Halasana. Interlacing the fingers, draw the shoulders closer together underneath you. Reach the crown of the head toward the back of the mat, the shoulders toward the front. So you're nice and long through the spine. The toes are pointing back and then you lift the sitting bones high. And breathe. And then exhale, bring the knees down. For Karna Pitasana. Dropping into it passively. So you're not pushing the knees to the earth, but just letting them fall however much they will. Take a lotus if you have it, or just come into a sukhasana position, hands to the knees. And spread the back of the body broadly. So that the abdominal viscera drops toward the back of the diaphragm. One more. And then bring the knees down by the shoulders, wrap the arms around the backs of the legs, squeeze in, and then soften the form so that it becomes almost completely passive. Pindasana, seed pose. And then release the hands and let the spine roll slowly down. Keep the hands out in front of you so you can lower yourself one bone at a time. And then when the sacrum comes down, you can catch the backs of the legs and arch the back to come into Matsyasana, the fish pose. You might press the elbows down into the floor and take an underhand grip on the feet. See if that helps you get a sense of lift and roll the collarbones back and find ease here. Relaxing the back of the palate, letting the mind melt back into the earth.
One more breath here. And then we move to Uttana Parasana. Keeping the feet together, pointing the fingers toward the toes. Holding the limbs at about 60 degrees from the earth. Nice and steady. Feeling the psoas lines holding you. One more. And then slide the hands under the backs of the legs. Press the elbows into the earth as the feet come down. Gaze up. And then exhale, lay yourself down and finally chakrasana inhale ordva mukha exhale back adha mukha shirsasana just walk forward see if you can keep your knees off the floor bring the elbows down interlace the fingers and rise into the form Reach the heels way up. And feel that eccentric toning of the psoas lines, which should still be bright from Uttana Padasana. Feel how that tone helps straighten you out. One more here. And then piking by taking the pubic bone way back toward the coccyx and you can extend all the way into the roots of the big toes. And then back up, maybe lifting. Coming down to rest in Balasana. forward to a high plank. Exhale, come down to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, back, Adha Mukha. Inhale, get length. And exhale, come through for Bada Padmasana. And Yoga Mudrasana. So take the vine behind you if you can. Just take any cross leg position and catch your hands behind your back and inhale, sit tall, lift the chin, exhale, come down. 
and let the forehead rest on the earth if possible, or just hanging with ease. With long deepening exhales, The next exhale, go all the way out and then rest in the emptiness for as long as you're comfortable. When you're ready to inhale, let the inhale bring you up. Take Yana Mudra with the hands. Let the pelvis settle into the earth. Feel the spine rising up vibrantly from the center of the pelvis. With the belly gently lifted out of the pelvic basin, the heart floating above the belly. And spreading your cobra hood up and over the heart over the crown, curling back to dissolve again into the center of the heart. Letting each breath be a little longer than the last, just a few more. As you finish the next breath, letting the chin lift, and then bring the hands to the floor, Udplatihi. One more. And then coming down and we'll take a final vinyasa. Make your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. And then coming through and then turn. And lie back for Shavasana. Draw the shoulder blades toward each other and down. And then maybe scoot the pelvis down a little bit 
So the spine is long and reach down through the heels and then let the feet fall out to the side. The feet a little wider than the hips, hands a little wider than the feet. And then release all the excess tension from the center of the body down and out. Release any excess tension from between the shoulder blades. Let it drain down the arms through the palms of the hands. Release any psychical tension from the crown. And let the eyes settle into their places. Release the back of the palate, the tongue, the throat, the jaw. And let the attention fall endlessly toward the center of the heart. toward the center of your natural kindness, your natural generosity. Your natural compassion. Your natural surrender. And allow the attention to melt into that space. As the rest of the body melts back into the earth.
And then draw the next breath deep into the center of the heart. And as you exhale, let it drop and spread evenly down the back of the body to the feet. And then gently move the fingers and the toes. And bring the feet together, slowly reach the arms above the head and stretch long through the center line. And then exhale, bend the knees and turn to the more open side. And coming back. And draw the breath in. Ooh. Swasti prajabia paripalayantam nyayena margena mahim mahisha ha go brahmanebia shubham astu nityam loka samasta Suki no bhavan tu. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om 